Even though this is a Turkish thing, but Malaysian pun boleh relate. Benda-benda macam graphic tees yang kita orang design ni, it has a story behind it. Kembali lagi dalam hashtag The Rise of Local Brands. So sekarang Alam berada dekat APW Bangsa. Dan macam biasa, another day, another local brands. So brand ni yang Alam nak tengok sekarang ni, dah well established dah. Ramai orang kenal. Alam pun apa lagi? Of course, excited nak masuk. So tanpa melengahkan masa lagi, jom kita dive more into this brand. Basil and Mora Cody. Bye. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. Okay, sekarang bersama dengan Alam is someone is very very special and I'm at a very very special place juga. Siapa je yang tak tahu this PMC Pastel and Motor. Kita sekarang bersama dengan the owner of the brand. Maybe we can introduce to our audience. Sure. Yeah. Hey guys, you know nama saya Hugh, one of the co-founders. Actually ada tiga co-founder. So I'm only one of the co-founder, the Kuli. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the one yang buat kerja semua. Hi, nama saya Jack, head of brand of PMC. Hi everyone, Hello. I'm Eva. My role dalam PMC ni is junior art director. Basically, I manage creative team lah. You can share with us a little bit on macam mana this brand got the establishment. So actually, when it comes to things streetwear or any business for that matter, we are said they start from a passion. And I still remember you know, when we were in high school, I think about maybe on 14 tahun, 15 tahun in, in yeah. school, you know, all of us were inspired from skateboarding, you know, uh, music. My brothers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So that's what we used to do, right? Go to school and then after that, hang out Sungai Wang and uh, we were always like, wow, you know, it'd be amazing to to start a brand. And uh, but you know, we didn't know anything at that point. Pun tak ada wang juga. Yeah. You know, fast forward 2010, we were talking about it. Me and my other two co-founders, Anil and Arthur. So we were talking about starting this brand, and and yeah, it really stemmed from wanting to be able to create clothes that represents who we are. But we had nothing which was Malaysian. True. So we wanted to to create something that represented us. The uniqueness or the difference between PMC and, brand, the and the other brands. So I think that was actually one of the first questions that yang kita tanya, you know, Dewi sendiri when we started the brand, right? In the world, there are so many streetwear brands out there, but apa bezakan us from the rest? Yeah. I think it really boils down to the USP of it, which number one is always about storytelling and the kind of stories that we want to be able to tell is normally on things like culture, or heritage, our experience growing up, the different things that we're experience as well so we want to be able to showcase that and i think that is for any brand out there as long as it stems from the people or the team it's always going to be unique man. so i would say that is what kind of sets us apart number one i think number two as well is that a lot of times when we make the clothes uh, we always want it to be clothes for all so biasa if you normally see like you know some streetwear brands they have like maybe a more ag style but you think oh, for pmc a lot of it's very like you know simple and easy to wear pieces yeah. and i think when it comes to streetwear these days is you know, they're unisex, right? So it's male and also female and people of different ages, culture, and that's the, the kind of target audience that we want to be able to reach. I'm, sure. I'm very curious to know what challenges specifically for this brand, PMC? I mean, many different challenges, right? You know, just now, like I mentioned, 14 years, a lot of ups, a lot of downs yeah. as well. But one of the big challenges is being around for 14 years, the landscape of streetwear is constantly changing. Yeah. Especially yeah. dalam like age sekarang, like semua digital, kan? So everything like information, it's all so quick. Back then in 2010, at least, you know, uh, you want to buy something from America, so you, you macam like takut lah, you know, if the thing boleh sampai ke? So a lot of times then you will go for like local brands. So I would say a lot more competition in the space. That's number one. I think also the access to be able to, to start a brand is a lot easier. Everything you much you boleh Google kan. Back in the day, we didn't have that. It was more of like, you mesti tanya you punya kawan lah. Eh, do you know anyone uh, boleh buat baju semua? I wouldn't say it was very hard, but it was definitely harder. The barrier to entry. Like priorities, you know, is different. I'm, you know, sudah kahwin. Obviously, when we were young, semua sudah, you know, all very gangho. Like, yeah. tapi sekarang, it's really about picking and being very strategic with where I spend my time. But, you know, I'm very lucky that I've also got a team. So a lot of times in terms of, you know, going out there, speaking to people, doing a lot of the networking, the team is the one which handles a lot of that. So, you know, bless lah in that sense. 
Can you share like one of the most memorable collaborations with your designs? Lah? I have a few, but yang I paling bangga is collaboration dengan Sabah FC so and like. Dokto. Reason being is I'm a huge football fan. I memang minat bola gila-gila. Yang main untuk Malaysia, main kat Sabah FC juga. So straight away, I'm like, okay, we gotta do this. Let's do a meeting and then that's how it all... Do you still have the designs here? We have some. We have like recently we collaborated with Studio Sandbang. So oh. we work closely with uh, Mila Anderson with her podcast as well. And then I think this is like the only two collaboration pieces. So we have one Dinga Storenko. Shout out to Andrew. This is one of like the most beautiful uh, reviewer uh, shirt that I've come across. So the idea is like more pixelated. Touch on all the iconic places. The Megarita. The KLCC. Ni Langkawi. But just right after COVID time too, we got one collaboration dengan Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. Yes. So that Ghostbusters collaboration itself actually did really well for us. Like a lot of things sold out. Shirts. Yes, shirt. Oh. Ada lah white range shirt and then ada jacket, bottom juga. I was quite proud of sebab I actually involved a lot of the designing process. Second one would be, I think 2022, we just rebrand our brand. Dulu kan flat logo macam ni kan? Dulu, oh, this dulu is ah. Oh, okay. So after that, we rebrand to so, ni, PMC. So, yeah. Lepas tu, that was the first year after our rebranding. That spring summer collection we called it super sweaty lah at that time and then we actually want to try something new concept itself is actually macam reborn lah so we want to try macam we want to try out macam different things cutting semua lah and then we did like a fashion show and then a lot of people turn out how does this brand contribute? The contributions that PMC that mm. much on bagi to this local new brand community and or and like the streetwear segment. Something that we always want to to strive for. We have built this brand and we have a community of people that support us and we're really happy with that. I think one of the main things is how can we use this brand to do more? How do we make it on terms of platform? Lah? So platform be it for featuring people, up and coming artists, mean musicians. So we, we do that for our events. Which I'm like, if we have a launching, then we say, hey, you know, we need DJs. We have obviously the more famous ones, but at the same point of time, any newcomers coming into the space, give them an opportunity to play. How do you approach the task of developing and maintaining PMC punya brand identity? I think it's good to have some mix. Not everyone are into like the whole storytelling. A lot of people are into like more aesthetic. So we have some of those items as well that shout PMC, but at the same time, we have some of these. Well, yeah. Story, yeah. Yeah. To put up. So they did that loose lah, they Exactly. Yeah. Hashtag, Hashtag the rise of local brands. brands. Hashtag, Hashtag pastel mora clothing. clothing.